We're looking at something incredible today, a brand new twist on the data update from Sort It Out SI, where all of the future transfers are dated exactly when they happen in the real world, so you can play through the 21-22 season, and all of the transfers happen just as they did. So Haaland will join Manchester City after playing a full season with Dortmund, and all of the transfers that happened will happen in your game. It'll be a great experience, and we'll take a look at how you can install it and play it right now. Hello there, Anders here at Sort It Out SI, and as I said in the little intro, we're going to look at the Future Transfers Data Update, which was published this week on the website. So without any further ado, we'll go over to the page, which you can find the link for in the description down below, and show you how to download, uh, unzip, install, and then set the game up and have a look at everything in-game. Let's go take a look. Okay then, so if you click the link down in the description below, it'll take you to this page right here, the Future Transfer Database Data Update uh, from sort it out, si uh, And what you can do here basically is click on the big green button and have a little read of how it works. So it will start with the default 22.4 uh, database uh, and all transfers from the real world will occur at the same time they happen as you are playing. Uh, so a few things to note, transfer fees are completely different. Uh, they don't affect gameplay, they just have a little bit of a weird thing in the player tab. Uh, and it's impossible, or not currently possible at least, to future date loans uh, and manage movements. So they're not in there. But all real world transfers happen on the real date. So if you click the big green button, we'll follow the instructions in a second. But you can see here, I've downloaded it a couple of times just to test it out. Uh, but you can download, you go to your downloads folder and unzip it with whatever software you use. I use 7-zip, there's probably millions of others, I don't know, I'm out of the loop on that sort of thing. Uh, but it's a quick download, quick unzip, and it shows you where to put it, even in the download here. So you want to take this file right here and take it to My Documents, and I'll show you My Documents when I get there. So you want to go to Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2022, and then Editor Data, and your folder might look a complete mess like mine, uh, but it might have nothing in there. If it has nothing in there, why haven't you downloaded the real name fix? Anyway, um, but yeah, that is where you put this file, and it's just a single file, and we'll show you what you do in game right now. So you want to just create a normal game as you would and go with the 22.4 update, and it's this file right here, the future transfer update changes. I've got the license fix on there. I don't know whether I need the real name fix or not with this, but I just have it on all of the time. There's millions of other things I've got downloaded, but you don't need to worry about any of that. You just need to go to advanced setup as you would, setting up any other game, and it's just basically pick the leagues you want and the start date you want and go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the big five leagues, uh, a couple of tiers in each nation, because, you know, why not? Uh, set the game to start at the beginning of August and have a look in game. I'm going to use a uh, medium database, run it at four or three and a half stars. And um, there we go. We'll just we'll just play from there. So once the game's loaded and you've set your manager up, It'll look a little bit like this, unless you've picked a club. I've stayed unemployed. That's my beautiful face right there. We'll have a look at Erling Haaland. Obviously, he is still at Borussia Dortmund, but he will be joining Manchester City on the 1st of July. There is nothing you can do about that. As either Dortmund manager or Man City manager, he is there. And we'll have a look at the future data transfers as well, which is not on this screen. No, it's not. Uh, go back a screen. Pending transfers down here. Here we go. So you can see all of the ones that are happening. Calvin Phillips coming from Leeds, uh, Zinchenko's off to Arsenal, Haaland's coming in, so many other things. There's Sterling, Jesus is off to Arsenal, Sterling's off to Chelsea in July as well. So you've got a whole season with these players and they all disappear. Newcastle United might be an interesting one to play as. Obviously they signed quite a few players uh, with all the money they have, so there's a few uh, future data transfers here that might be of interest. Uh, I'm thinking more like the likes of Alexander Isaac, for example, coming from Real Sociedad. Here he is. He's always good on Football Manager. So you've got him joining you uh, at the end of August. So you've got to start the next season before you get to him. Um, and another one that I think will be really, really interesting, actually, we'll have a look in a second, is Nottingham Forest. Obviously, they've got a lot of players. Uh, so just checking where Trippier was. Trippier is in the normal database, 22.4, isn't he? That's why he's not on the pending future transfers. Uh, but if you look at Nottingham Forest, obviously, they're in the championship. But they got promoted in the real in real life, and they've signed a lot of players. So if you don't get promoted as Forest, or if Forest don't get promoted with the AI, they've got a lot of new players coming in for season number two, the 22-23 season. If they're still in the championship, might be quite easy for Forest. Uh, but we shall see when we get there. What we're going to do now uh, is, well, first, what we're going to do is look at Blackburn because I'm a Blackburn fan, as you probably will have known. Um, 
but we'll have a look at Blackburn, have a look at the setup there as well. Uh, you can see uh, Mowbray is still in charge. Uh, got Chris Samba coming in as a staff member. Um, interestingly, what I want to check is Yondal Thomason is listed as a transfer coming in and Mowbray is listed to go out to Sunderland. So we'll see that one in a second. Um, and as you can see, all of the transfer dealings from the summer are in there as they are with every other club. What we'll do now is we'll jump forward um, and have a look. Well, we're going to have a look at Barcelona first, sorry. Uh, and then we'll jump forward and have a look at what happens in-game after simulating season. Uh, we'll probably simulate to today's date. So as of recording, it is Tuesday the 6th of September. I think the video is coming out the day after. But we will have a look at what happens when you simulate forward. Here you can see, uh, as I'm talking, I'm just scrolling through. Uh, Lewandowski going from Bayern to Barcelona in July. So what we'll do is we'll simulate forward to today's day, have a look what's happened, see basically that everyone's in the right place. I'll see you when the game's gone forward a year. And here we are then, we have simulated forward about 13 months to the 6th of September 2022 and let's have a look at the Premier League table. Immediately can see Manchester City were the champions as in the real world. Doesn't look like Forrest got promoted though so let's have a quick look. Uh, at the 21-22 season, Palace, Brentford and Norwich going down. Burnley obviously surviving, which is a disappointment uh, for everyone involved. Uh, championship, let's have a look. So yeah, we can see Forest are in the championship still, as are Blackburn. Fulham, Sheffield United and Stoke up via the playoffs. Uh, Forest missing out mid-table, actually 13th. Blackburn just missing out on the playoffs, which is always disappointing. But Forest, we'll have a look at them because they've made a lot of signings over the summer. And they're all here, so let's see how they absolutely smash uh, the championship in this season with any luck that will be the case uh, you can see here lots and lots of players coming in all on a free because that's how it's had to work uh, so you can see like the likes of uh, Nick Williams and God, just everyone Jesse Lingard, Lingard in there uh, just such a massive array of players coming in uh, to Forest who are still in the championship so we'll see uh, how they get on let's have a look at some other clubs though um, if we in fact we'll have a look at Blackburn whilst we're here you can see oh we're um, They've got a new manager at Forest. That's a, that's a shock. Uh, and yeah, look, John Dal Thomason has been appointed Blackburn manager. So that is promising. Uh, I know that was one of the concerns uh, with, the, with the update that managers wouldn't be able to be put in post future dated. Uh, but it looks like that might be the case that it's happened. So Mowbray left at the end of his contract. Looks like he's resigned. If we look at Mowbray, uh, he is in fact Sunderland manager. So that is good as well. That worked as well. That's good. Uh, and John Dal Thomason is Blackburn manager. Uh, you can see... Uh, Lewis Travis is all over the key player stats here and we look at transfers did we keep Barrett and Diaz it looks like we did which is great uh, but yep yeah, all of the signings I say all of the signings the few signings that Blackburn made over the summer are all here as well uh, and all the people who left have left brilliant um, so we will have a look at some other clubs because I'm probably one of the few people who care about Blackburn um, Blackburn that was uh, you struggle with my words let's have a look at Man City once again so we'll see Erling Haaland there as key player uh, how has he start the season two goals in four games so not as impressive as you would expect or as he has done in the real world, if you look at his career stats, you get a full season there at Dortmund, 22 in 33, great season once again. Uh, and he started out reasonably well at Man City, two in four. Uh, the rest of the Man City squad has who, who have gone. Let's have a look at those. So we'll go to Arsenal first because we can see uh, Jesus and Zinchenko have gone to Arsenal from Man City. Yep, yeah, they're both there. They've made a few other signings as well. Spent another. Um, 40 million um but that's 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 their prerogative so arsenal doing well top of the league at the moment uh, southampton doing well as well up there chelsea they've had a few players come in so raheem sterling is now their key player he's obviously joined after a season at man city uh, manchester united you can see eric ten Hag is the manager uh don't see cristiano ronaldo on there but does that mean he's left it does not mean he's left that's interesting we'll have a look uh, so martinez ericsson and uh, Casemiro, Anthony, all new signings for Manchester United as they look to rebuild their squad. Uh, if we have a quick look at the squad just to see if Ronaldo is still there. Uh, yes, he is. He's suspended currently, but he's still in the squad. Uh, played two games so far this season. He's, he's still there, probably still moaning as well. Uh, right, where else shall we look? We'll have a look at Barcelona. Because uh, they've had some transfer dealings as well. You can see there, uh, Lewandowski is their key player. So that is as expected. Another season at uh, Bayern. He's got five in five in the league with uh, Barcelona since joining. 
We'll have a look at Juventus. They've had a few players come in. So uh, if we have a look at their transfer history, uh, Di Maria, Pogba, Cambiasso. Uh, oh, they've signed uh, Gundogan from Man City as well. So they've got a decent squad, top, currently top of Serie A. Uh, if we have a look at the rest of Barcelona's transfers, you can see uh, Rafinha in from Leeds and Koundé. Uh, and as you'd expect, all of the players who are there. I don't think Real Madrid have signed many people this summer, uh, but that should be reflected. It is reflected in their uh, transfer dealings. Not many happening there. So not really much to linger on here. If we have a look at Dortmund, uh, since obviously Harling left, ha Harland left, uh, they've had a few players come in. Though Bellingham is apparently their key player, which is really good for him at 19 years of age. Good for the future. Uh, Schlotterbach has come in. Adeyemi. Uh, obviously Haaland gone, uh, Sula, Haller, Modest, yeah, all of the players you'd expect to come in to Dortmund are there, all the players who have left, obviously left as well, uh, Bayern are doing well as you'd expect, six wins from seven, Muller is still a key player, if we look at their transfer history, obviously Lewandowski has left, uh, they've got Grabenberch, Mane, uh, De Ligt, yep, a uh, pretty pretty good squad of players coming in. Sula's gone to Dortmund. Quite a few players have left. A uh, key one there, obviously, being Lewandowski. Uh, but that is the Bayern squad, and that's basically the data update. We'll have a quick look back at the Premier League. Uh, but that is the future transfer data update. Everything coming in as it happened in the real world. Something really awesome for you to play along with. I imagine it'd be really fun playing along the season uh, as the transfers come in in the real world in the big, obviously, summer window. Uh, so it'd probably be really fun playing as a club like Nottingham Forest, who have signed so many players in the real world. If they don't get promoted like they haven't in this uh, version of the sim here, it's going to be a really interesting squad looking into the championship. Uh, but yeah, it looks like manager movements are working. So I'll, I'll feed that back to the, uh, the, the data, uh, data editor guys as well and let them, let them know uh, but if if you test that out and it doesn't work on your save also let me know in the comments uh, if you find anything interesting knocking around in the update as well comments is where you need to go uh, if you've enjoyed today's video please remember to subscribe to the sort it out si channel uh, we're going to be putting out three videos a week with any luck uh, until we get much closer to the fm23 launch where we're going to go uh, every single weekday for a few weeks around the beta and the launch day uh, but more more content coming your way very very soon please remember to like the video as i said subscribe to the channel share it around with all your friends uh, and i will see you on the next one thank you so much for watching there should be a subscribe button popping up around my face and some video recommendations as well see you next time thank you very much